Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is going to be a review on my Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD Foundation Stick Foundation. Actually, it's not really, it's mo it's mostly going to be a demo, but I have been using this for the past week and I think I can tell you about it. So yeah. So basically this foundation is supposed to be like a semi-matte Sorry, I got distracted by my highlight. Um, it's me, a semi matte, obviously, stick foundation. Use it with a brush, like I'm going to say in my video, because it, it works way better with a brush than it does a um, beauty blender. And I found that out, like, right when I started using it. So, definitely go in with a brush with this, and it's a demi matte finish semi matte satin ish finish and I really like it so let's just get into the video because I'm rambling and it's really annoying so. don't forget to subscribe and like and comment during the video if you like what you see and yeah so let's just go into the video yeah. all right so let's get started for this um foundation I, I use two primers so I'll use this in the spots where I need smoothing and mattifying which is usually my nose my forehead right here and my chin where I have a few little spots and it kind of smooths them out and covers them up a little bit and then the second one is my little sample of max strobe cream so far I've been loving this and I'll probably buy a full size eventually so I take a little bit of the Makeup Forever Step 1 um, Smoothing Primer and I dab it on both my fingers and I just go and I cover the and I get those spots where where it needs the most for that kind of smoothing. And then I go in with the strobe cream around the rest of my face. Um, if I, when I run out of this, I'll probably go back to using my step one hydrating primer, which I love a lot. Alright, now that I have my primers on, I'm going to go straight in with the foundation. And, of course, as you guys already know, I'm using the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. And, like, the whole point of this video is this foundation. So with this, I do three stripes. I do one here, one here, and one here. And I cross the chin, and then I go one this way one this way if you just heard like some shuffling around in the video that's because my mic just stay stay, stay. You can stay okay that's where you're sitting now all right sorry about that and I'm going to be using the Morphe Elite Collection number 44 brush to buff everything in. I find that you, the faster you buff this in after you apply it, the better it looks. And you want to, I would like, I would recommend definitely using a brush with this foundation because that's, well one, that's what they recommend. And two, I think it just gets a better finish, a better coverage when you use a brush, especially. Um, I like the Tarte Airbrush Foundation brush for it, and I really love this brush for it, the E44. And also the Morphe M439 brush. 349? I don't know. I don't know what the number is. The Famous Foundation brush by Morphe, that's also really good for this foundation. And as you can see, it really buffs in very quickly and it just leaves you with a really natural, like, semi-matte satin fit finish. 
to the skin and then you can go ahead and add in um, more where you think you need more coverage so I always add more to this chin area and just right here under the eyes and right on the like in between the eyebrows and I just go back and I buff that in again I really just love the finish of the foundation. It makes it look very natural and like it's your skin tone. Like, not your skin tone, but it's your skin. And I have a very good match to my skin right now. I am in the shade, if I haven't already mentioned it, I'm in the shade um, 115 equals R230, which is literally the lightest shade you can get. Because I am a pale person. Alright, now I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay um, Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Fair Neutral because I am pale and I really like having a little bit of highlight. And I just remember that I forgot to wet my beauty blender so I'm just going to use a brush to um, blend this in. When I, I usually use my original beauty blender that's what I like using the most so this will be interesting I'm just gonna use my same foundation brush because I trust that one. <gasps> oh my god that kind of scared me I dropped it really hard oh, so we're just gonna go in with that and with shedding so I'm just gonna press that I'm gonna press it onto the eye as well I promise I'm going to be getting back to my um, my regular background soon. I just haven't really had time to film at school, so I'm filming when I'm at home on the weekends. Sometimes. And I usually will film one to two videos while I'm home. Like today, I'm filming this one, and then I'm going to be like, yo, I'm going to jump off the camera to finish the rest of my makeup, but actually I'm going to film a eye makeup look. Just so I don't, like, you know, I can use up the time I have now. So that's all padded in and now I'm gonna go in with my I don't really have anything I need to cover. If I do need to cover like a little spot like on my chin if it didn't really cover very well I would use my MAC, um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have recently discovered that this is so good for just covering um, covering spots on my face. I used to use it to do it under my eyes and that's why I didn't like it. And I even mentioned this in my 2015 regrets um, that I did not like this, but I actually really do like it for covering um, problem spots. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my face. First I'm going to go under the eyes with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to dab my e.l.f. under eye setting brush with actually a brush brush, but I just use it for under eye setting. And I just dab that on there to set that concealer right away. Take it onto my eye as well since I did put product on my eye. And my chin. Forehead and down the nose. Now, for setting the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my Max um, Select Sheer Press Powder with my Morphe E3 brush. These are new brushes. I did get four new brushes from Morphe, three from the Elite Collection, and the M um, the the M five two seven brush the bronzer one and I really like it so far I really like this powder brush because my powder brush before really really sucked so and if you've been watching my channel you know what I'm talking about it's the big fluffy one from Morphe that we got in the first book subscription from the Morphe me so now that I have my face set I am going to Hop off camera and um, do the rest of my face, and then I will 
see you in a little bit. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope this helped you in purchasing this amazing foundation. I absolutely love this. I've been using it for a week, as I said, and I absolutely am in love with this foundation and I wholeheartedly recommend it. I also recommend the pump foundation because I've already went through a whole bottle of that. So you know I love that or else I would have just returned it if I didn't like it. Obby. Um, but yeah, remember to subscribe, comment, and like down below. If you want to see more videos, hit subscribe. That'd be really nice. I love you forever. And yeah, let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. Let me know if you want me to review more foundations and such. But yeah, let's, yeah, I'll just see you in my next video. Bye.